the last day of the summer holiday. あまね。いや、あおいくん。どうしたんだこんな朝早くから。That's my line. You weren't in the dormitory, so I thought you might be here. I woke up early, but I didn't see Amane anywhere. All her things in her room were carefully packed away. Today is the last day of the summer holiday. In other words, the day that Amane leaves the school. We still have one more day, though. Everyone was planning to get up before dawn again and go to the runway. We didn't think that a miraculous phenomenon would occur two days in a row, but even so, we wanted to believe there was a slight chance. However, I knew that we wouldn't be able to do it again so soon. At that time, we were caught in the downdraft, then forcibly pulling up the aircraft meant it sustained huge G forces damaging parts of the glider. It's possible to fix it, but at the very least, there was no hope that we'd be able to fly today. Amane's objective was to fly to the morning glory. Now that goal had been achieved, there was nothing left to do. You haven't seen any of the others, have you?、Uh, Why not? すまないが、君から何か言っておいてくれないか。私はどうも言葉にするのが苦手なんだ。アマネスピークスウィッド・リリー・トラブル・ロック・オン・ア・フェイス、アン・コンティニュー・トゥ・パック・オール・オブ・ザ・フィンクス・シー・アット・オーガナイズ・イント・ア・ラージ・トラブル・バック。シー・ビン・リビング・ヒュー・ロン・タイム、ソシー・ハズ・ロット・オブ・パーソナル・アイテムス。アル・ハプ・ユー・カリエット。いや、いい。どうせいらないものばかりだ。持てない分は置いていくよ。アマネスピークス while gazing at her desk, which is still cluttered. As she looks it over, her gaze stops at the photo frame. Are you leaving his behind too? His? This?、Uh. She smiles as if to say, even if I took it with me, I wouldn't know what to do with it. Seeing her sad smile made all the feelings of regret that I'd bottled up come pouring out. I.、Mm? I'm gonna continue it. I'll improve, and I will definitely fly to the morning glory in the glider that you and the others have made. a m a n a nods, and after thinking a moment, puts down her bag and stands in front of me. She takes my hand and holds it gently. In the garage, which doesn't have air conditioning, it's as hot as a sauna. My hands are covered in sweat, but hers are as smooth and as soft as freshly washed sheets. Then Amane, with eyes like a little kid's, but a little more grown up than yesterday, looks me in the eyes. As Amane speaks, she has a small yet fulfilled smile. How about Iska's feelings? I wanted to ask her if she understood the reason why Iska had become so obsessed with gliders. Amane shuts her eyes and hugs me gently. To tell the truth, I thought I was going to cry. What about these designs? The designs had been left on the drawing board. I couldn't do that. Amane puts her back on her shoulder. She staggers slightly under the weight. I'll walk you to the bus stop. She gives a smile as crisp and sunny as the summer sky to the garage, then leaves it behind. The garage where she spent so many years shut away inside.
the next day, the first day of the new school term. What are we gonna do now that we don't have enough members? We can't ask Anchan to help every time we want to do a flight, so what should we do about transporting the glider? What should I do about getting my pilot's license? Well, feeling downhearted and a sense of loss now that Amana had left, we discussed our plans for club on the way to the school in the morning. When it comes to continuing the activities of the Soren Club, Kotori, Agea and I are all of the same opinion. Next time, we'll definitely fly there, to the passage of clouds. Our dream that we were so close to, but had not yet achieved. However, it was there, right at my fingertips. With that sense of reality, the dream was no longer just a dream. No, we all had a clear goal in mind. All three of this had cle All three of us, right? Had clearly envisioned this in our minds. That's why we don't have time to feel down. The thing that awaited us was... An unbelievable spectacle. What the? No entry was written on the signboard and on the other side. Heavy machinery had made a hole in the wall of the garage and had smashed it in the roof. Kutari and Agea are lost for words before this horrific spectacle. I stood there, stunned, and desperately tried to think of what could have happened. But there is no way I could comprehend it. The place that until yesterday where we would gather and spend time together every day had suddenly been destroyed. <laughs> my knees were shaking. I felt like all the strength had left my body and then intense rage burned inside me. What the hell is this all about? As I approach the person who seems to be the foreman, he just looks back at me with a troubled look on his face. Of course, these people have been asked to do this, they are just here to do de demolition work. But I had no other outlet for my emotions. Why are you doing this? Tobioka, that bastard! Tobioka. Tobioka just glared at me like I was being unreasonable towards the workers. Meaning, if I have any complaints, then I should talk to him about it. Oh, I'll talk to him about it, alright. What is this all about? さっき言った通りだ。夏休みが終わればソワリング部は廃部。ここは取り壊されるまだ私たちがいるのに。部活動と認められる人数が足りんだろう。今まで多めに見てやってたんだ。もう容赦せん。そんなの応募です。私たち
Emotionless, I rummage through it and pick out the things I was looking for. Sorry about that. It's okay now. I lower my head in a bow of apology to the workers and step outside the no-entry boards. Let's go. These are the designs that Amane drew. She said that she had completed them yesterday. Then there was the photo frame from Amane's desk. Inside it was the photo that had stirred us all into action. It's not over yet. I smiled at them with empty bravado, with a smile as bright as the midsummer sun. I can't let it end like this. We will definitely fly in our glider. Kotani, looking like she was going to cry, smiled at me. <laughs> Agia, who had a defeated expression on her face, smiled once again. <laughs> a giant a thunderhead was floating in the clear blue sky. It is said that such clouds often go beyond the stratosphere, which means that the upward drafts go all the way up there. Our dream isn't over yet. This is the beginning. What, the first opening again? Well, I guess we can watch it again, why not? Where's this? やっぱりここだったわね。夜ちゃん。そろそろ帰らないと夕飯に遅れるわよ。うん。でももうちょっとだけ待ってても無駄よ。もう現れないわ。It? What is it? どうしてわかるのあれから一度も飛んでないじゃない。滑走路を見に行ってみたけど、雑草が生い茂ってて、使われてる形跡はなかったわ。Oh, so they're talking about the glider, huh? So she was, she here was waiting for the glider to appear? うーん。でも、うーん。今日、学校で聞いたんだけど。by the way, they are wearing the same school uniform as uh, as Ageha. So are they going to the same school now? Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Hmm. 
そうなんだ飛ばないのはそのせいよだからもうここで待ってても意味ないのさ帰りましょう私お腹が空いちゃった<笑>そっかもう飛ばないんだ Hmm, it seems like the twin tail twins will、uh, will get a little bit more screen time from now on, huh? That's nice. A sky is so blue it almost hurts the eyes and a towering thunderhead. The cicadas are singing their hearts out. A lush vegetation is growing, bathed in the sunlight. Summer has come again. It's so hot. I complain while hanging the sheets on the clothes line. Uh, this heat, they should be dry by lunchtime. As I speak, I gaze at the distant Thunderhead. It's said that Thunderheads or giant、uh, cumulonimbus clouds、uh, can extend upwards out of the stratosphere. The world record for highest flight in a glider also went beyond the stratosphere. They both seem hard to believe at first. As I take the sheets out of the wash basket, I hear a voice from behind. It's Ageha. I'll be with you in a moment. Can you wait inside? <laughs> Is something wrong? Come <laughs> なんだアゲハか、mm, Who are they expecting? <sighs> ドキドキしたよ何何な,なんでがっかりしてんのついに来るのよ It? What is it? 何が新しい冷蔵庫が What? A new refrigerator? Awesome! よく頑張ってくれたわミナセク私たちもう無理だと思ってたものもう狭いスペースを奪い合ってジュースを冷やす必要もなくなるんですねはあうちの冷蔵庫年号が昭和の時代から使われてる全盛期の遺物だったからねもうずっと調子悪くて気がつくと電源が切れてるなんてことしょっちゅうでもこれで高いアイスを溶かしてしまう痛ましい事故もなくなるのよこの間小鳥ちゃんのハーゲンダッチ全滅しちゃったんだよね。Oh no! それは悲劇ね。The food won't be spoiled anymore and the electric bill will be cheaper. And it won't be a problem for the owner either. I finished hanging up the laundry and then while joining everyone I explained. でもなかなか OK 出なかったんでしょ Yeah, well. I was the one who approached the owner about it, but it wasn't exactly a smooth process to get to this point. The owner herself was okay with it, but her sons want to get rid of this place as soon as possible, and that's why they were against the idea of getting a new fridge. I persistently pursued the negotiations and finally won out. Nah, not really. When she says old lady, she means the owner. Then the doorbell rang. <laughs> All the boarders were getting excited. The guy from the electronics store came straight in, and when he saw all the girls standing there, plus one boy, he said, Wah! Please install it over here. Could you also take away the old one? The new fridge will be installed in the dining hall, and the old one will be taken away for recycling. I sign the receipt then. I'll leave the rest to you. Hiya. I let Kanako take care of it, and then I left the dormitory. Aoi! The train is going to go. Okay, sorry. The train? Where are we going? Hino! Grumble Kotori. At Anchan's place? What is she doing at Anchan's place? 
It's been a year since the sewing club lost its status. What? It's been a year already? Jeez, what happened during that year? Then summer had come around again. Yeah. Plan? What plan? Our revival of the club's activities hadn't been accepted, so we still had the status of a society. Under the supervision of Tobioka, it had become effectively impossible to carry out our club activities in the school grounds. Just now, Kotori had patronizingly referred to herself as club leader. She was the second in charge before, so naturally she inherited the title. Anyway, we've been demoted to the status of a society, so now she's just the leader. It looks like Kotori has really taken a liking to that title. What's well, weird, but doesn't leader sound a lot more high and mighty than club leader? Well, that's kind of beside the point, but we don't have a clubhouse or a glider. But there are things that we can do. One of those is working at a part-time job. Even after the owner got better, I carried on as the dorm mother. My mom pays me for the work and the money is used for my living expenses. Agiha and Kotori are working at Anchan's factory. They don't receive wages, but they get paid in glider materials. Factories can get those materials more cheaply and they chose good quality materials, which is a big help. We have a plan coming up that requires the use of large amounts of FRP and so on. Agia and I are heading to the site of another of our activities now. It's at a runway two hours away by train. I go there often to attend glider flight training. A few days ago I finally managed to get the pilot's license that I'd wanted for so long. It was pretty hard work, but with this I can fly a glider by myself. Agia has been coming with me when she has spare time to be in contact with the aircraft and her with the maintenance. Kotori comes too, but she always just comes to watch. She could go for a flight with a local pilot, but she stubbornly refused. It's okay, I'll fly with Aoi. It seems she still remembers the promise I made to her before. Of course, I secretly still remember it too. We had a goal. To complete an aircraft according to the designs that Amane had left behind. Then to fly the glider through the passage of clouds. We don't know if it will come or not. It came last year, so it's more natural to think that it won't come again this year too. But... That's why we need to make all the necessary preparations. I look up to see a sky so blue that it almost hurts to look at, a thundering thunderhead. The sky is so high that it looks like it goes on endlessly. The real summer was beginning. 